with the high interest rate, what is the ROI, like the return you're looking for? Projects are turned around in like three, four months. So like annualized return is like at least 30, 40%. You haven't managed them. You are absolutely right. <laughs> I had uh, big issues with contractors when I was starting out too. It's a headache for a lot of people.欢迎大家来到我去做访问 给一点时间问问他们。就算做不到投资者，希望透过呢次访问呢，可以问到一啲house 財的片段呢,會喺呢個頻道不斷推送㗎。有興趣嘅記住撳訂閱同埋撳埋鐘仔長線睇啦。關於房地產嘅,大家可以訂閱埋我要做屋主嘅頻道,全球睇樓啦,
borrow money to purchase and to remodel the homes, the cost is higher. Yeah. Also, like to buyers, like it's harder for them to afford houses because mm. of the um, of higher borrowing cost. Mm. So when I flip houses, it's important to really be conservative mm. with the numbers to uh, really budget the like a worst case scenario, like if the market declines and mm -hmm. if um, there's some shifts in the market, I want to make sure that my margin is high enough so that with any shifts in the market, I can still at least break even. Right, right. So that's the calculation that did you suggest anyone that want to come into this market? Mm -hmm. They should do the calculation right, right? Yeah, the numbers are the most important thing mm -hmm. in the flipping business. Yeah. yeah, it's the foundation of your flips. Right. If the numbers are not done correctly, then it doesn't matter what kind of renovation you do. It doesn't matter of how you execute anything else. You're not going to make a profit. Right. In your videos, um, you talk about that as a hard money, right? Hard money costs or mm -hmm. how much interest you're paying. Are you getting a good deal mm -hmm. like for the uh, hard money? Uh, right now, my um, the hard money interest I pay is a lot higher than what I used to pay mm. before the interest rate started going up last mm. year. Um, but still, I'm getting a, a pretty good deal because of my experience right. and my track record. Right. So for like new investors in the Bay Area, I think um, most of them are paying around 10% or even more than 10% wow. plus points. Right. So with that, with the high interest rate, what is the ROI, like the return you're looking for? Yeah, for each project, I'm looking for at least a 10% return on the project. Mm -hmm. Like sometimes um, even 12 or 15%. So mm -hmm. sub anywhere between 10 to 15%. Right. But because the projects are turned around in like three, four months time, mm -hmm. so like annualized return is like at least 30, 40%. Right. So if the project takes longer, obviously you have to pay more interest, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, that 10% ROI is sh should be solely dependent on your renovation, right? Because if the market goes up, you earn more, right? mm -hmm, obviously. Mm -hmm. If the market goes down in that three months, you even lose money or maybe break even. Um, I think if you do the numbers right, you may break even like when the market shifts, but you shouldn't lose a lot of money. You may right. lose a little bit, but um, like your margin should be able to cover most of the market downturn risks. Right. One of the, um, I think, mistakes uh, mm -hmm. people do in Vancouver and uh, Toronto in Canada mm -hmm. is that they flip the house and they see the downtrend in the market. They just keep holding the houses for two, three years. Mm -hmm. uh, is that a mistake? Because that probably they will lose even more money. Yeah, usually when I flip houses, because I'm in the flipping business, so the, the keyword is flipping, Flip, right? Yeah. You need to <laughs> flip it, you need to get Fast. out of it. Yeah. yeah. So like if you are holding on to the house, then you are not really realizing, you are afraid of realizing any potential loss. loss. So in the meantime, you are missing out on all the opportunities. Yeah, you're right? holding all the cash, right? The investment you have in this house, you can't take it out and mm -hmm. then you can't invest in your next project. So then you become kind of like a landlord. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then kind of buy and hold. Right. Yeah. If you are a landlord, then you are actually making a trying to make cash flow rather than a profit. So right. you are changing your business model. Right, <laughs> right. That, that's different then because um, probably you are losing five or 10 percent max for mm -hmm. a flip. Mm -hmm. But uh, if you don't sell it, you have no chance to make it up the profit again, right? Right, right. So we're in your one of your like uh, before projects, right? Mm -hmm. So I'm really always wondering, how do you see uh, the potentials in old houses like this to make a profit? Is that a standard procedures or is it by experience? What are you looking for uh, to decide if you're going to buy the old house to flip? Less about the features of a house, but mm -hmm. more about the numbers. How I calculate the numbers is actually backwards mm -hmm. from the after repair value. So like after I do the renovation, how much the house will be worth. Right. You deduct the all the renovation costs, financing costs, etc. And then mm -hmm. you deduct your desired profit and then you get to 
the purchase price. The maximum purchase price. Right. Right. From the maximum purchase price, whether、um, you can make a deal、mm. with the seller to get to this maximum purchase price. Right. If they agree to your maximum purchase price, then it's a good it's deal. A, it's then, a green light. Yeah. Oh, got it. <laughs> so sometimes、uh, for new investors, including myself, ten,、um, twenty years ago, I was dedicated, targeted this property. But、mm-hmm. in terms of for this house, is an investment, right?、Mm-hmm. You, I, I, we don't need to put in so much hard like、uh, to bargain.、Mm-hmm. If that's the right deal, that's the right deal, right? Right. Okay. Yeah. So, so to be patient and always prepare to hunt. But、yeah. if the price is not right. Then it's a red light. Right. You right. need to put your personal feelings aside.、Exactly. You cannot fall in love with the property. Yeah. Because if the numbers don't work, then it doesn't matter how nice this house is. It's it's not going to work. In terms of features, is、mm-hmm. there any big no? Then,、uh, uh, for example, it's no potential to renovate or to add value. Is there any big no's in a in a? Definitely. So if a house is on a busy street. Mm. Or it's close to the freeway when you can hear a、right. lot of freeway noise. Right.、Um, and sometimes the house doesn't have a garage, right?、Oh. Neighbors all have garages, but then this house, if if it doesn't, these are kind of red flags. Right. But it doesn't mean that you cannot buy those houses at all.、Mm-hmm. Um, everything has a value, right? If these houses have Undesirable features like these,、right. then、um, you want to make sure you discount the value, the、right. resale value,、right. enough so that the numbers can、profit. still work.、Right. But if if not, then you have to pass them. Yeah, that's that's right. For example,、uh, the location is really good, but、uh, your neighbor has a garage. You don't. Then、mm-hmm. you, if you don't want to build a garage, it costs something, right? It costs a lot of money, and it takes a long time to get permits. Right, right. So、uh, after all, it's the calculation. I、mm-hmm. think that's、mm-hmm. really right. Watching your videos is kind of amazing because、uh, I see that if you walk into a really old, beaten up house, I kind of had an assumption that you already know how much you're gonna spend in the renovation. How do you do that? Is that a calculation? Is that an experience? Um, definitely experience helps. Yeah. Yeah. Like when you are doing it the first time, there's no way for you to know. Yeah. So the best way is to get a contractor、mm-hmm. to like walk around the house with you, and you guys can discuss the scope of work. Right. And then the contractor can give you a bid to tell you how much. Um, all the work will cost. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So I think that's the best way to do it. About contractors, that's、mm-hmm. one of my biggest problems. I'm not sure if your contractors are like that. It's really hard to find a contractor. Not to mention a good one.、Mm-hmm. They usually have fluctuating like、uh, commitments. Like、mm-hmm. for example, late completion, over project, like the cost.、Mm-hmm. How do you manage contractors, or do you have to manage them? You are absolutely right. Okay, contractors... I'm not alone, right? I'm not alone. <laughs> <No. laughs> I had、uh, big issues with contractors when I was starting out too. It was so painful and、um, a lot of stress, right? Yeah, yeah. When you work with a contractor that's not reliable, who's trying to scam you and、yeah. make more money from you, yeah, it's it's a headache for a lot of people. I、mm. think、um, the main thing is to make sure that your goal and The contractor's goal、mm-hmm. align. Right. So you want to make sure that,、um, like, you reward them、mm. for good behaviors,、yes. and you penalize them when they <laughs> they don't show up. Yeah, I heard that in your one of your videos. Right. I try to copy that model. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did it so, work? Uh, I I tried, but、uh, I've changed the contractors <laughs> because the, my own contractor said, "Oh, you didn't do that to me before.、Oh, Why?、Right. So I I have to different. I have to have different teams of contractors.、Right. But I think it works, right?、Yeah. Same as、uh, doing apps, doing、mm-hmm. uh, the application for for our company is is the same.、Mm-hmm. So、right. how does it work out in the, eventually? Yeah. So if you reward them when they、um, do good work,、mm-hmm. when they complete the project quicker, 
um, and when you make a good profit, you can give them some bonus too. Right, right. Just take... 听到呢度咧，相信大家咧想知多啲关于 Elisa 点样做啲 house flipping 嘅，咁大家咧可以咧 subscribe 佢嘅 YouTube channel 啦，叫做咧 Transform New Estate 嘅，有好多片咧解释得好详尽嘅，唔单止我最中意佢啲 before and after 嘅片啦，好似魔术咁啊，仲要系讲咗佢犯啲咩错，点样改良，同埋有晒实质数字，加埋大家点样计数噶，所以今次成条片连埋啲推介咧都系开。开心 share 嘅啫，如果大家真系想学啲投资策略咧，可以咧考虑买佢本书噶。交俾 Elisa 讲啲本书咧讲咩先，又或者真系想有个 mentor 嘅话咧，仲可以上去堂添。嗰啲课程咧都筹备咗好耐时间啦。呢个课程咧佢觉得适合全美国嘅人，我只觉得咧连加拿大或者本身你想做装修 renovate 嘅都可以做到参考。因為佢會講到佢又點樣選址啦，點樣做裝修啦，點樣設計 design 啦，幾時借錢，點借錢，點計啦，同埋點賣咧，呢啲都係策略嚟噶。只要你查翻你住緊個法規同埋規則係點樣，當然啦，你自己亦都有相熟嘅人幫你做 sourcing agent， 揾到盤賣到盤咁啦。咁應該咧個問題都不大噶啦。有興趣喺下面有個連結嘅，大家可以直接買嗰本書，或者咧去選擇上嘅堂噶。如果大家對於今日嘅節目有咩更多嘅問題咧，記住下面 comment section 咧去問。如果大家中意呢片，記住撳 like 同埋 share 同埋留言啦。記住咧訂閱我要做富通 channel， 關於房地產、股票、理財、投資咧，都會喺呢個頻道同大家繼續分享噶。專攻房地產同埋移居故事嘅，記住訂閱埋我要做屋主呢頻道啦。兩個頻道記住撳埋鐘仔，長線睇啊！投資唔係大專利，下次見大家，拜拜。想跟帖我哋，記得訂閱我要做富翁嘅 YouTube、Instagram 同埋 Facebook。如果想更加緊貼大市同直播分析嘅話，可以訂閱富翁電視 MTTV 啦。另外，想跟我哋環球睇樓，記得去訂閱我要做世界頻道啦。